Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mark Villarreal here. I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. Today I am going to demonstrate to you all how to cut and clean and debone alligator gar. We have three beautiful gars here set on the table. We're going to do one for you all today. I hope you all like the video for today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and share. And um, I hope you enjoy the video for today. We're going to be using just basic tools that I like to use. We're going to be using some pliers. This is to hold the tail, so whenever we remove the, the back shell off of it, we're gonna be using one of these bad boys right here. And we have two knives, all right? These two right here. So let's go ahead and see which ones are gonna be good. And um, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so let's get started on cleaning this alligator guard. We got one guard right here that we're gonna clean. I'm gonna put these two aside so they're not in the way of our video footage and our cleaning. So basically what we're going to do with this alligator guard is we're going to pinch the tail right here and we're going to we're going to make a, an insertion or a cut right here off of the tail going straight to the skin. You see? I already went through the first step right here. After this, you're going to want to cut this whole back shell right here. You're going to want to cut. I'm using the cleaver so I'm going to be chopping 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 and I'm going to try to stay as far up as possible as I can because if I go down it's going to dig into the skin and we don't want that we want to save the most meat we can and we want to clean this properly professionally and very nice so we're going to go ahead and start here make it, I'm going to make an insertion we're going to go from the top take it all the way to the top we're going to we're going to go up here we're going to chop 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 until we get to the end of, of the of the skull right here and then we're going to cut it off and then that's when we start putting in our fillet knives and we're going to deep um we're gonna de-skin the gar, not debone yet, but de-skin, which means that we're going to scrape the meat off of the gar skin so we can go ahead and debone it later on. So let's get started, all right guys? Alright guys, so we already got to the back of the skull. This is probably one of the main the main process of uh, cutting the car, the cutting the gar, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and finish chopping off the back skin. There we go. We got this piece. We're gonna put it here in the trash. Alright now we're gonna de-skin the alligator gar. We're gonna remove the skin from the meat and the bone you can go with two options the most important key in this is having a sharp knife I like to go with a small short knife because this knife is gonna give me the the best axis and the best angles for me to go ahead and take that shell off of the skin so let's get started all right start from the top and always remember you want to scrape the skin and point it kind of up so instead of pointing it down and going like this you want to go up so you don't dig into the meat and you can leave as much meat as possible on the gar. So I'll start right here with the first process and I'll take it as much further as much far down as I can. All right. So basically we're going to be de-skinning de this gar as you can see on the camera. We're just scraping off the skin, separating the, 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 the meat from the skin. If you are experienced in uh, any game cleaning, uh, like for example deer, hogs, etc. Then this part should not be hard, it's uh, pretty simple self-explanatory so we kind of got this side started you want to show them right here you got this side started right here now what you do to one side you do to the other let's get going come on
this is why I like these little knives because they give me the best angles to cut and then right here it has a little soft spot so you can go ahead and cut all the way here okay now we're gonna go ahead and take it this is a very nice fat healthy gar measuring at four feet eight inches and it got a second place in an alligator guard tournament today and now we're cleaning if i'm going a little fast guys i apologize but i don't want to bore you all to death it's taking a long time cleaning this guard all right So yeah guys you want to scrape the skin try to leave try to not try not to leave meat on the skin you got a couple of hard bones for example right here in the center of the gar you have one hard bone that you just have to cut around kind of find the bone so you can cut it as close to the bone as you can and separate that layer of, uh, of, mo of meat from the bone because this is a hard piece of bone that's on the skin on the center and there you go we got it you can see this is a hard piece of bone it's this bone right here there you got it and then you have another hard piece of bone right around here okay so what I like to do when I get to this part I cut it with a cleaver you can see Cut down with a cleaver, chop down a little bit, all the way down. We got it. Now you want to, since you have another little piece of bone here, you have one little bone here, right here. You got one bone, and you got another bone. This is where the cleaver is going to come in handy because your fillet knife is always not going to work. And cut it, chop it. I mean, chop it, pointing down so you don't point up towards the meat. see so we got it now we come up here we turn a little bit get a good footage right here same thing we go down this is where there's a lot of blood guys once you get to the throat area you're gonna start getting a lot of blood okay so we'll come back over here And what I like to do here, when I got to this part, I like to open this part of skin with my cleaver. There's one part. There's two. Now I'll get my big fillet knife and I'll cut the meat right here, kind of in a V-shaped sort of thing, and then through the top. And then I'll try to flip this piece of meat over here. Try to turn it down here. Same thing. Cut down. Cut down. All the way around evenly. Make sure it's all cut. Now I'll twist the neck. Push it up. Twist it. Twist it down. And that bone pops. You don't have to cut through. Just twist it off. And you pop that bone. And you do the rest with your fillet knife. See? So now, we have taken the skin off of the alligator guard, guys. Check it out. We took off the skin. Now it's time to debone the meat. All right, guys. So we de-skinned the alligator guard. We have this nice, wonderful, beautiful piece of guard. This is nothing but meat and bone. And then we have the the guts and all that ugly stuff in the bottom which we're going to remove 
So we deboned, we need we did a nice job in deboning this meat as you can see. We have the alligator gar here, and this is the leader that was used to catch the alligator gar. These are L C D nine five six liters, some of the best. Let me take it out for you and demonstrate to you all what they look like. They got hooked very good in here. And See guys, LCD 956 liters, J-hook style. 350 pound swivel, 250 pound nylon coated wire. This is your LCD 956 liters. Message me, reach out to me, and I'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate to you all, send you all pictures of our merchandise. We ship all over the USA. We have them all over the Rio Grande Valley. Texas, any state you are, we'll go ahead and ship them out to you, right? All right guys, so we're gonna start deboning the alligator gar. So as you can see right here, you have a little strip here. You can easily slide it with your fingers. So you can go ahead and easily guide. Do a little close up, please. A little close up, there you go. So this is a little piece. This is where you're gonna start. This is where your backbone is or your, your rib cage is. And you're gonna, you're going to go ahead and um, cut this meat off of the bone, which is deboning, AKA filleting, whatever you wanna call it. So since so we put our fingers here, this is where we're gonna guide ourselves. So we're, this is where we're gonna start. Remember, always cut towards the bone and not towards the meat so you can get off as much meat as possible. Okay, so we got that. Just cut a little bit and move yourself up. I'll go ahead and get it from here. All right. So I start cutting a little bit from the top so I can easily guide myself on on the on the rest of the meat. All the way down, all the way down, now go up. Now we're gonna start going all the way in. Now the bone it kind of curves this way, so you're gonna wanna go that way as you go, but just feel the bone, guys, with your knife. You're gonna feel the bone and follow the bone. Alright? So what we're doing here is we're getting the main piece of meat of the gar, which is uh, sometimes people consider this your back strap. I'm going to show you how to utilize all the gar. Everything is edible. All the meat is edible. So you have your, your back strap and that is what we're getting right here. That's your back strap guys, this is boneless. This is probably some of the best part of the alligator gar. Boneless, very delicious. It's a delicacy out here where we're from. Bam. All right, so we got one side. Remember what you do to one side, you do to the other, simple. Guide yourself from the top, all the way down. Guide yourself from the top, all the way down. Come back up. All That's our second piece of back strap. This is guard nuggets, guys. Guard nuggets, D bone, no bone at all. Bam. All right, now we're gonna remove the belly meat, but let's go ahead and get the guts out of the way. So all this right here, you still have a lot of meat to your alligator guard. All this is meat right here. All this is meat. So obviously you're gonna wanna take out the guts since we haven't. I like to separate both of my fingers. Do a little close up over here. I like to put my fingers in there, separate it, cut it straight up the middle. Center it all the way up and same thing down here use both of your fingers to separate it Center it and cut it straight through try not to puncture too much in because if you puncture in you're gonna puncture all the organs and all that good stuff So we opened it 
As you can see, this gar has eggs. About 80% of the gars out there have eggs. And we're just gonna cut off all that bad, ugly part right here. And we're gonna work our way up. And go all the way up, do a close up. Do a, there we go. go. All the way up. As you can see, we went ahead and removed all the organs, all the eggs, all that bad stuff. We're going to go ahead and throw it over here. Alright guys, so we already we already deboned the back strap on both sides of the alligator gar meat. Uh, the alligator gar, I'm sorry. So now we have your belly meat. A lot of people do not know that this meat is very delicious. It's edible. They just don't know how or they don't want to go through the trouble of cleaning it. It's very simple. You're going to flip it down here. You're going to find where it comes with the bone. Right here I found the part where it comes with the bone. And just slide it down, slide it down, slide it down, slide it down. As you can, this is all bone, so you're going to feel where the bone is and you're going to slide it down where the meat ends with the bone. And you got yourself another back strap, alright? Bam. Alright, one more, one more, one more. Remember guys, what you do to one side, you do to, to the other. Let's start from the... Let's start from over here. All right. Now this is this is how you can go and get it easily. Also, you start right here. Oh, you start right here. I'll get a good view over here so they can see. You start right here and you work your way down, sliding on the edge of the bone, the meat, and all that good stuff until you go all the way down. You got just a nice back trap. Now, this is one very important key and finish cleaning the belly meat this is an important key and finish cleaning the belly meat if you see here you have this uh you have this piece of extra skin that's that's very uh how can i say it's 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 not good when you eat it because it's it's very um stretchy and you basically want to remove this layer of of uh, skin of the off of the gar you want to remove this layer so this is where your big fillet knife comes in in handy Get your big fillet knife and let's start right here with this piece you cut down but close up right here you're gonna cut down but do not cut all the way down because then you're not gonna be able to fillet your belly unfortunately unfortunately this is not like your 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 back strap right here if you can see this is not like the back strap this has this extra layer of tough skin that you want to remove so I went through I filleted it that is where the money is guys right there now there's a little bit of meat left you can fillet it fine as fine as you would like and get more meat whatever so let's go ahead and get as much as we can off of here we got it see we got more meat right there for you all bam this is going to go in the trash all right so what you do to one side you do to the other this is the other side of the belly meat you're gonna go down and you're gonna go ahead and finish filleting the nice beautiful meat this is the money guys this is where the money is and bam you get rid of that excess skin that you don't want this is trash this is junk you can throw it away now let's see how much we can get off of this piece all right Bam! A little extra meat for you all there guys. Right there. Bam. We're gonna throw this away. Open it. Alright, so let's We finished de-skinning, deboning, filleting the gar. So now you wanna always rinse your meat a lot. Rinse it as much as you can so you can get the best quality of the gar. Always rinse as much as you can. So as you can see, this all right here is all the boneless meat that an alligator gar has to offer. This is one heck of a fish to eat, very delicious, it's a delicacy. And this is all the meat we got off of this gar. We try not to, um, we try not to, uh, you know, we try to get the most meat out of the gar, alright? So the only thing left of the gar is this 
is the skeletal piece, which is your skeleton, your bone, your your uh, all your bone is right here. Now, you got two options for this, guys. Remember, I told you, I don't like to put no meat, no guard to waste. This bone has tons of meat on it still. Not only does it have tons of meat, but this is some of the most delicious meat that you can eat off of a guard because it's stuck to the bone. It's the most tender, the most flavor you're gonna get out of your alligator guard. So, what I suggest, guys, cut it, cut it in steaks. You're gonna cut it in steaks. You see this steak right here? Put this bad boy to fry right here. This is gonna be some of the best eating. Just go ahead and batter it. If you don't wanna batter it, don't batter it. Just season it, fry it, and that's the best part. All right. All right. Us, we do not like to um, put anything to waste. You see a lot of people, they'll waste this belly meat. They don't take it because they don't know what to do with it. But look, look at all that. That is probably as good or better than the back strap itself. All right. This is your skeleton, your bone. We're putting it all in that pile. All right. Bam. 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 All right, guys. All right, guys. That brings the end to our video. I hope you liked the video for today, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. If you need any tips, any uh, questions, concerns, of anything to do with alligator guard go ahead and reach out to me get at me i will go ahead and help you to the fullest of my ability and my knowledge this is the end result check it out you got your you have your uh your skeleton with your meat this is very delicious you have your belly meat right here this is all your belly meat right here and then you have your back straps nice long white meat all right guys I hope you enjoyed the video guys, drop a comment, let me know what you think, follow us on YouTube, check out the way we cook this awesome wonderful fish, and I hope you like the video guys, fish on.